Okay, so this morning I have had a delicious breakfast of a uh, brioche with um, hazelnut spread, so like Nutella, uh, absolutely full of it. Um, and <laughs> I was lucky not to get it all over myself. Anyway, after breakfast then we made our way to the train station and we've just come down to Pompeii. So visiting Pompeii for the day. I have booked a guided tour. Uh, I think it's like two hours. Uh, it was pretty good value, I thought. Um, I think it's like 49 euros for the two of us. So that's fantastic. It's two hours. I can't wait. Uh, we'll be heading off in about 20 minutes or so. The train was uh, I, uh, not what I was expecting. It was a more suburban service and it was packed, absolutely packed. Now we were lucky we got on at the terminus, the, terminal station which is the very last or, or very first one uh, in Naples and then the second station is the one that's closest to the Napoli uh, Napoli terminus so the, the one that comes from Rome so um, it was empty when we got on and it, but when we got to that second station that was close to the um, other main station packed couldn't move so um, little tip if you are going to catch a train from Naples um, go to the, the terminus station uh, it'll be yeah you might get a better chance of getting a seat uh, otherwise uh really easy really simple uh three dollars thirty euro for a three dollars thirty three euro um and thirty cents for a for a single uh, one-way ticket um and yeah so let's get into it the meeting point for this particular tour company is directly above the train station building so you go there and you show them the ticket that you've bought online and they will exchange that for a physical ticket to enter Pompeii Archaeological Park. However, they will not give you the child ticket. What you need to do is before you go into the park, uh, you need to go to the ticket office and you uh, show them your document, so your passport, and they will then give you a free child ticket. So children under 18 are free to enter. tour and so now we're just free to roam around and look at anything we want so um, firstly <laughs> we went and got something to drink and eat because uh, it ended up coming out quite warm but now it's come over cloudy and so I'm just hoping it doesn't rain on um, rain on us so but um, this place is huge like it is so big and um, it's I, look to be honest um, it's not actually what I thought it would be like, it, but it's still wonderful and amazing and I'm so glad I'm here. But I, I guess I just expected it to be a little bit different. So some of the things we've seen that have been really cool uh, was the, um, <laughs> the brothel actually. Uh, as part of the bathhouse at the very beginning and then there's another one. Um, there is a brothel with some uh, frescoes that depict uh, certain things. Um, but the thing that's really funny about it is like the beds are just rocks, just rocks. So I'm not really sure how comfortable that would be. And uh, some of the other things we've seen is we did see some some of the bodies that were covered in, uh, the casts actually, casts of bodies. Um, we've seen the amphitheatre, so a massive big theatre. There were three theatres here that were all used for different things. The one we saw, I think, was used for drama, tragedies and comedy. Um, there was another one that was used for gladiators. And then there was another one that was used for like poetry and other things like that.
then um, include just some beautiful frescoes uh, that have been beautifully preserved and um, it just yeah it's, it's, it's hard to imagine how old how all the things are that are here. One of the things that the guide did tell us that was that before the, the major eruption uh, that destroyed uh, Pompeii, uh, there had been some other minor, well not minor, I mean, but there were earthquakes prior to the eruption. So, um, and what happened was a lot of people had actually left. So that that's actually a, a really good thing. Some of the other cool things we've seen is the stepping stones in the street. Um, now, normally the streets would be washed uh, because that was where sewage and rubbish and whatnot um, were. And so the water would wash all the junky stuff away. And so there were stepping stones there, so you could get across uh, without getting your feet wet and dirty. Another thing you'll find here is uh, the grooves in the streets caused from the chariots uh, back in the day. So that's also a cool little thing to see. Um, yeah, we are just walking to another place now uh, to see if we can see another body cast and um, yeah it's great this like I said before this place is so big um, you could easily spend the entire day here I thought doing a two-hour a two-hour guided tour that would be enough but no uh, no you do need the entire day here so lucky um, I didn't put anything else into our schedule <music> I don't know five hours or so and we are now going to start heading out we just went and saw the amphitheater there was also a museum which has some really great stuff um, and I guess one of the things that I found really interesting was that uh, it did speak of you know the life outside of the the bodies so there was a life that was here uh, there were lives there was communities there was you know and you, you kind of do tend to forget about that when you just think about the bodies so we are heading out we might see the museum on the way out um if it's still open and um yeah it's been a great day our legs are sore though <laughs> so we are making our way back towards the entrance uh there is meant to be a, a museum out there which we'll see if it's still open by the time we get there if not that's okay um, we've seen so much today um and then we'll probably just catch the train back to naples and uh, maybe try and find somewhere yummy to have some dinner so there is the um, museum and it is closed. It closes at four, the last last entrance at four. So that's okay, we've missed that. But look, there's still beautiful things to see on the way. There's more frescoes. There's just, there's just stuff everywhere to see. It's just, it's beautiful, stunning, completely different to what I thought it would be like, but I've had an amazing day nonetheless. finally back uh the train back from pompeii was packed um as you probably would expect it's, it is new year's eve so uh very excited that we are traveling on new year's eve and um yeah so the train was packed and then we thought we'll come back here to naples and we would get some dinner well that was the hard part because all the restaurants well, not all the restaurants but most of the restaurants are closed so we did find a little uh indian uh indian restaurant down a, a an alley <laughs> somewhere and uh we both had a biryani rice and it was it was delicious it was really good um not too spicy which was great because amy doesn't really like a lot of spice I'm, i love spice so it doesn't bother me 
Anyway, we did stop and get some pastries on the way back for dessert to ring in the new year with our tiny little bottle of Prosecco that I'll have. <laughs> She's mine. And these are the gorgeous um, pastries that we, we picked up. So, and you know, and the thing about them, they were only uh, one euro each. So there was a minimum of six and I thought to myself, oh my goodness, how much is this gonna cost me? And when she said six euro, I thought she made a mistake. So um, no, I can't wait to get stuck into these. These look so good. Um, and really that's, that's it for today. Uh, Pompeii was huge. <clears throat> I really didn't anticipate it being so big. When I booked, uh, I booked a, a guided tour, it was for two hours. And I literally thought that was all I needed. Um, so obviously I didn't research enough. And um, cause if I had, I would have known that. I would have known how big it was. Um, oh, and the other thing too, oh my goodness. So we, when we got back to Naples and we walked out of the, the train station, someone let off um, a whole bunch of uh, fireworks and it was like a little private firework show. Uh, which was super cool. Um, anyway, that is it for, actually that's it for 2023. Um, what a year it's been. I've been on some absolutely incredible adventures. I think I've visited six, six countries, five, six. I went to Bahrain, uh, Kuwait, Oman, uh, Uzbekistan, Georgia, yep, and now Italy. So six countries in one year. I cannot believe uh never in my wildest dreams did i think i'd ever be able to do this so it's absolutely incredible and um yeah i'm thankful every day that i get this opportunity happy new year everyone and here's to a great 2024